What's up, everybody? Once again, this is Super Yankee for Life, and I'm bringing you guys yet another multiplayer gameplay of Modern Warfare 3. And um, I got put in this lobby at the last second. Anyway, I'm just gonna tell you the setup I used. I used the MP7 with a silencer with range. Uh, ran sleight of hand, hardline, and dead silence. But uh, I noticed these these two or three little kids in my in my team laughing, giggling like little girls before the match started. So I knew right off the bat that um, I had to be the one to carry the team, like I usually do. So yeah, this is Domination on Underground. This is not a great map for Domination, especially in Ground War. Um, just for the simple fact that the spawn system is still not fixed. And, um, yeah, so back to, back to you know, the, the fact that I have little kids on my team. I just want to, um, talk about, like, the Call of Duty community as a whole. Now, um, I think get this guy camping back here for the payback. Anyway, um, the Call of Duty community as a whole. You know, the, it's, this game has so much potential. This game has, you know, if I had to give it a rating, I would give like a 6 at the very most. But I feel like, I mean, it, it, I feel like people, like little kids, like, like the ones I, I encountered during this game, are what's holding this game back more than anything. I mean, it's bad enough with the bad hit detection, the spawns, the, the lag compensation. I, it's bad enough with that, but now I have to deal with people who just play like straight up cowards. And, you know, the people, you know, the people who say that no, there's nothing wrong with this game and there's nothing wrong with, with Modern Warfare 3 are probably the ones that are, are A, camping their hearts out, B, players with bad connections, or C, uh, just are completely oblivious to all the problems. So it just it, I don't know how to explain explain it any further than that about uh, good water anyway you know I don't know how to explain it you know, but uh, just people are oblivious to the fact that there's so many problems wrong with this game so uh, the, anyway the 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 kill streaks I used were the care package pred missile and the attack chopper. And kind of coincides with the fact with the intelligence of the Call of Duty community. For some odd reason, I see I try to get this ballistic vest, but the guy cuts me off. But anyway, the, the, the intelligence of this of this community, quote unquote community, um, is just it's somewhat disturbing because people are just not that smart. I don't I don't mean to downplay anybody, but. When you see attack, when you see attack chopper, and all it takes is one stinger missile to the, to take it out, and just just take it out. I mean that's that's sim it's just that simple, and this is kind of a stupid thing on my part because I saw a sniper try to take me out, and uh, end up getting a double kill, and someone else takes out the sniper. So whoever took him out, thank you. Anyway, so I call him my another my second attack chopper. See, look, I'm, I'm I got quite a few kills with a chopper, or I think I can like. Okay, like four or five kills with it. Anyway, but you, you, I mean, you, people just don't want to take it out. They don't. They just don't want to take out the choppers. I mean, they don't understand that. You know, that moves up towards your point streak. So if you see attack choppers on the enemy team, just just shoot it down. Just shoot it down. You know, you'll you'll help out me. You help out the rest of your teammates, and life will be a nice little fairy tale. So yeah, I mean, now we're in a bad spot because now we're spawn. I mean, look, look, this is ridiculous. We spawn over by A. So yet again, Mr. Mr. Stuff Clown, or I mean, no, I know there's nice nicknames for him, but I call him Last Stand. Okay, uh, that's my that's my nickname for Mr. Robert Bowling, Last Stand, because it's still it's still in the game. No matter what he tells you, it's still in the game. Okay, it's it's just named differently. Ooh, Zach, it's not uh, it's not a last stand, it's final stand. It's it, trust me, it's 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 the exact same thing. So look, this guy bumps into me. That's and that's that's another thing I'm really ang angered about. It's this player collision. I can't tell you how many times I'm aiming. I'm about to shoot a dude aiming down the sights, and then all of a sudden, 
teammate, boom, bumps into me, knocks me off my target, knocks me off, off my accuracy, and, and I end up getting killed. And it's just really, it's just like, you know, one, it's just like one thing after another, and I'm getting like a triple kill right here. So, if I were, yeah, I get the stab right here. If, if I were David Vonderhaar, I would be very careful when I put in, play in this game as far as perks, as, as far as the map design for what, for Black Ops 2 or Iron Wolf or whatever you, whatever you're gonna call it. I don't know. Um, so I would be very careful what I would put into this game if I were him. Uh, he's kind of like he's kind of like Treyarch's Robert Bowling or something like that. You know, the, not, he's not the strategist, but I think he's the game designer or whatever uh, for Treyarch. Um, yeah, I mean, an MP7 is a great gun. It's the best, probably the best submachine gun in the game. Um, the ACR is probably the best assault rifle. So yeah, it's, you know, these are my two favorite guns in the game. I would, I prefer the ACR more. Because of you know I I I, I play Modern Warfare. I one of the reasons why I wanted to play Modern Warfare Three, why, why I wanted to get it in the first place. Although looking back on it now, I really regret it. But um, it's, it's to work on my uh, my long range game. On Black Ops, I was very sloppy as far as my you know my uh, my my long range uh, shooting. So uh, Modern Warfare Three has helped out. I, you know, if there's one thing that Marvel 3 has helped me out is is my long range, um, my long range uh, shooting abilities. And see, like the range, I have the range proficiency on. So the silencer, even though you lose range on it with the silencer, I mean, I mean the range proficiency makes up for it definitely. Um, so yeah, it's a very useful, very nice gun. And this guy was camping underneath the bridge. Ice cold water is very good. You know, so so anyway, I mean, so basically, one of just want to go back to what I touched back on, as far as the community as I get this reaper, so I call it in. Anyway, the 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 community as a whole really how how I how I how do I go about this? The Call of Duty community. As a whole, I think is pretty good, but I mean, you, I mean, you still deal with these just these immature pe little kids. I mean, why they're even playing the game is ridiculous. I mean, I, I I'm pretty sure the game is uh, intended for a mature audience or whatever. You know, it's intended for like ages 17 and older. So how the how these little kids manage to sneak around the fact that. You know, tell their parents, oh, it's, it's, there's no blood, there's, there's no violence. I mean, how do these parents allow their kids to buy these games? When, when obviously, they've seen the trailers. You know, everybody's talking about it. It's the highest-grossing franchise in history, more than uh, TV, mu movies, books, more than anything, more than, more than Harry Potter or, or whatever. I don't know why, why they didn't fall back. Yeah, so, I mean, it just really puzzles me why these little kids manage to get their hands on this game, and it just ruins people, it just ruins the experience for me, honestly, sometimes when, you know, I'm, I'm playing against, you know, playing against people, and I, 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 someone kills me, and I watch the kill cam, and they're using the three most newest perks, Blind Eye, Assassin, and Dead Silence. I'll use one of these newest perks, which is Dead Silence, I mean... I mean, it, there's really no point in using Marksman. Um, if, if you're using an SMG, there's no point in using it at all. Um, you can also run steady aim with an SMG, you know, MP7, and you'll, you'll, be, you'll be all set as far as that. You, I think you can run Stalker, too. I think Stalker is another good perk to have uh, for an SMG. It makes you harder to hit. Yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, just uh, why... These, why these parents just not? I think these parents need, need to be a little more cautious and careful about uh, about these little kids playing these games. I know I'm. It's kind of makes a little 
makes less sense to me, me talking about it as opposed to somebody else. But, you know, sometimes these these little kids are ruining the game the game experience for me, especially when they just camp. I mean, I don't want to camp. But, unfortunately, the way these people play sometimes, it it kind of puts me in a bad situation. It makes me want to, makes me want to camp because, you know, you know, say, you know, if the people are, are not moving, and they'll watch this right here. Classic, you know, an example, like, seriously, how bad do you have to be to have two lives in one? You know, last stand, seriously, really, completely unnecessary. And this, this is towards the end of the match right here. Um, you get blasted with a cell bomb or going to slow motion or something like that. Yeah, so final score, 200 to 151. So 161. I can't even read this stupid thing. And uh, I actually unmuted. I actually muted those little kids at the beginning of the match because I knew they would be giggling, giggling the whole time. And as soon as I unmuted them, they started giggling again. So, um... Let's see. Let's see how they did. Uh, I know this one, this little kid, mysterious Mexican, um, did pretty well. Thirty point six, not bad. Um, he actually did. No, uh, the two others didn't do pretty well. But anyway, final score for me: forty four kills, fourteen deaths. Um, what's weird is they don't show you how many flags you capped and how many flags you defended. I mean, Black Ops. If they showed you uh, how many caps you, flags you capped and, and, uh, and defended, but Marvel, Marvel vs. for some reason doesn't show that, but that's another thing I would fix along the long line, a long list of things I would fix about this game. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this is Super Yankee for Life, signing off. Peace.